The day started so well. A hard-earned thirst to celebrate hard-won results. Zero positive new cases of COVID. But by mid-afternoon, the Donut Day happiness was dashed, with a new case emerging in Melbourne's west. The case is a teacher at Altaqua College in Truganina, a school that was hit by COVID last year. The school has been shut and students and staff told to isolate and get tested. The source of the infection remains unknown. We have to take cautious steps. Nine people remain in hospital, two of them on ventilators. Authorities continue to urge Victorians to get vaccinated, with 60,000 Pfizer bookings still available for the coming weeks. There's more supply due by the end of the month and drive-through vaccine clinics are now on the cards. Possible, yeah, we're looking at that. We're looking at uh, in-reach models. We're looking at all sorts of different pop-up models. Uh, once we have the sufficient supply on shore. It's still not clear when Pfizer will be available for people under 40. And that group say they've been struggling to get access to the alternative AstraZeneca at GP clinics. But the government is actively considering allowing younger people to come to state facilities like this and access AZ as long as they provide informed consent. And there's a different vaccine race underway, the race for Australian-made mRNA vaccines. It's a competition that one prominent expert believes Victoria is well-placed to win. Well, it's a no-brainer from the scientific perspective. Nobel laureate Peter Doherty says Melbourne's world-leading biomedical hubs, coupled with the state's manufacturing history, should make it the obvious choice. If you're going to do modern science manufacturing and have modern science industries, particularly in things like biomedicine, you really need major universities that are providing the, the trained staff and you need a whole culture out there. The federal government is assessing a dozen bids to set up a domestic industry, including from pharmaceutical giant CSL and IDT. The Victorian government is backing three local bids, including a Monash University pitch that has already developed a vaccine for trial. Messenger RNA is a new technology that isn't just used for COVID-19 vaccines. Setting up end-to-end -end manufacturing here could kickstart an export boom. There's no reason why we can't send stuff out from here that can be put on a plane and all the rest of it. We have to do that. Otherwise, I just don't see a bright future for this country. We can't just keep digging stuff up out of the ground. Professor Doherty is also backing vaccines for children and delaying second doses of Pfizer to free up supply. Richard Willingham, ABC News, Melbourne.